Hello everyone and welcome to Coding Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to implement cached network image. I will show you how to implement it as a rectangle image, then how to implement it as circle avatar image. Then I will show you how to control its cache. For example, here I have three buttons. Clear cache will delete both caches for the first and the second image. And then I have clear first image only, which will delete the, the cache for the first image only. And then I have clear second image which will delete the cache for the second image only. And I will show you how to handle error widget. For example, if I turn off my Wi-Fi here and click clear cache or clear first image, we will have this design instead. So let's get started. Okay, to get this started, I have created a column inside the column. This is a colored box having this color. And after it, I am having a circle avatar and after it, the three buttons that they don't do anything right now. So first step we need to do is we need to get the images we want. I have already opened two images. This is the first image and this is the second image. So I will copy them and put them in local variable here inside this uh, state. So I will create a final string image URL is equal to this image string with one eye and then I will copy this and paste it here as well final string image URL2 is equal to this URL and 20 okay so second thing we need to do is we need to implement a library and this library is cache network image so I will keep the link in the description. We have to go to installing and copy this dependency and then go to puppetspec.yaml and add it in the dependency. So we will add it here and click on pub get. Okay, so after pub get finish, we will start implementing. Let's go to the main again and let's start implementing cache network image now here instead of sized box with a colored box what i will do is i will delete this and instead of having all that i will type cached network image and inside it I, we have to specify an image url so we will specify the image url we've created this image url as the first image then here we can give it for example a width and let's give it media sorry media query dot of context dot size dot width and give it a height of 250 and we can specify after it a placeholder so this placeholder is actually a builder it takes a context and a URL and for example here we can return colored box inside the colored box we can give it a color of colors dot the black 12 and then give it a child and this child is actually circular progress indicator so now let's make this one so it doesn't nag anymore okay so after it we can specify an error widget so this error widget is actually also a builder so it takes a context and it takes a url and after all of that it takes error and here also we can return colored box as well inside the colored box we will give it a color of colors sorry colors dot the black 12 also and a child the child will be different this time we can give it an icon for example we say icons dot error and okay after it we can give it a size let's say 50 and then a color let's give it colors dot red all right and make this constant as well so it doesn't complain okay so if we run our application, everything will work fine now. And don't forget to add a comma here after this closing. Okay, so let's check it. 
Okay, I'm not sure if you seen it, but it was a little bit huge. So let's fix the circular progress indicator. We can fix it by simply giving it a center as a parent. So if we rerun the application now, it will appear a little bit better. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, if we want to, instead of placing a placeholder, we can have another property, which is progress indicator builder. And this takes a context as well. And it takes a URL, then it takes a progress indicator. Let's call it progress. And here we can return color box also. And inside the color box, we can return a color. Uh, the color is colors dot black 12 then a child property and this child property is also circular progress indicator but this time we can pass a value for it so we will pass the value which is progress dot progress this time instead of keep spinning it will actually spin accordingly to the progress but before we rerun it again let's put this into a center and let's have a semicolon here because this is a return and let's rerun the app to see how it appears now okay it doesn't appear really good because uh, it's already loaded in the cache so we can't see it so let's continue okay we can give our cached network image widget other properties for example we can give it a fit for example we are given it a width of media query dot size dot width the full width however our app is not taking the our image is not taking the whole width so we can give it fit the property we can say box fit dot capital f dot uh, cover for example save it now and let's see how it appears and this appears better okay we can give it also other properties for example we can change the animation for the fade in fade in curve you can give it curves dot whatever animation you want for example bounce out and let's rerun it to see how it appears and it appears like that so you can do multiple things for example you can change the duration for the fade fade in duration and this takes const duration inside here we can provide for example seconds let's say i wanted to fade in with a three second which is a lot but let's see it okay and it appears like that so you can control all of those but i will comment them so let's continue with the circle avatar here we are given it a key unique key and we're given it a radius of 100 and a background color so the only thing we have to give it is background image now here we can give it cached network image why because because this is a widget and this is an image provider so we need to give it an image provider luckily we have an image provider in this package also we have catch network image provider so here we can provide the url we can provide the image url too and that's it if we rerun our application now this circular image will appear as well okay and it does okay now if we click on clear cache or clear first image or clear second image nothing actually would happen because we didn't implement them yet so let's start implementing them let's create a function here void clear cache it doesn't take anything for now and here we can say image cache this is predefined in flutter with a question mark dot clear and we can say image cache dot clear live images and first unwrap it or have a question mark it doesn't matter because we actually have images here then we have to say set state here and that's it if we rerun our application it wouldn't delete them from the cache like it would have an animation like 
when we restarted the application however it wouldn't delete them from the cache it would still call them from the cache so we forget to send it here to call it here clear cache and let's save it now and try it okay okay and this effect is actually on this second image not on the first image because we have to give it a unique key as well so let's give it a key for this image and let's save it now and see how it appears now okay once we click on clear cache it doesn't clear them from the cache it actually clear them from the app cache not the global cache or the cache this package uses so what we need to do we need to download another library to fix this issue the library that this library cache network image depends on so let's go to the, our browser and this is the library we have to use which is flutter cache manager and let's go to installing and I will keep this library in the description box so let's copy this flutter cache manager and let's go to popspec.yml again and paste it here and click on pub get now we have to restart our application so let's end it and let's go back to the main and click on get dependency now what we actually need to do we need to create custom manager so let's create a custom manager after these strings I will create final cache manager let's call it cache manager is equal to cache manager now inside this cache manager what we can do is we can create a config and inside the config we have to specify a key let's say images key and here we can pr provide different options we can for example define max number of cache objects for example we can say 20 objects as a total and we can provide idle state uh, sorry stale period and this stale period it takes a duration how many days we want to cache this data so we can say const uh, sorry duration and this takes days or seconds or whatever you want so let's give it a days and let's say we want to save it for three days at total and let's add const okay so you can provide all that now what we need to do don't forget a semicolon here what we need to is we need to take this cache manager and go down below and say here cache manager dot empty cache and semicolon now this wouldn't work why because we created a custom cache manager and these images the cache network image provider and the cache network image is not dealing with this cache manager so before we do that we can say cache or default cache manager dot dot empty cache and this would actually work why because we are calling the default cache manager and these images are dealing with the default now so if we run the application it will actually work this code but we don't want to do that we will create our custom cache manager so before we empty the cache let's go and give our images custom cache manager so we can say cache manager and we can give them our cache manager and let's do the same for the above image let's say here cache manager and let's say again cache manager now if we run our application and we do this it will work it will delete them from the cache so let's run it okay now if we click on clear cache it will actually delete them and load them from the beginning and you can see now this progress indicator how it appears with the value and this is it now if we want to control each one of them alone what we can do we can provide a cache key so we will go to this image provider 
and we can say cache key let's give it second image for example and let's copy it sorry without semicolon okay so let's copy it and go here and also provide a cache key let's say first and don't forget a comma here now what we actually can do we can now specify what file we want to remove for example we can say cache manager dot remove file and here we have to pass a key which key the key we just provided up there for example second image or first image we can copy it and paste it here and that's it so what we need to do for our logic here we will create an int parameter say int nullable index and down below let's check if index different from null do something otherwise it will actually delete everything from here so let's cut this into this and let's have this inside this so what we need to do for the first image I will say index is equal equal to zero and it will delete the first image otherwise if index is not equal to zero and it's not null so we want to delete the second image and to get this working we have to pass these functions here so let's say clear cache with index is equal to zero because this is the first image and here we can say clear cache sorry clear cache and pass an index of one for example now if we rerun our application everything would work just fine as the demo application so clear cache would delete them both clear first image would keep the second image and delete the first image clear second image would actually keep the first image and keep the, fair, the second image however you can see that it's loading a little bit and that's loading because uh, we have to clear the cache from the application but not the global cache so that was it thank you guys for watching and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and like and comment down below